Hello guys, this is RetroTK2 and welcome to this Windows tutorial. Today we're attempting to uninstall Visual Studio 2015. There will be some fragments left behind that we'll have to remove manually guys. So let's get started. Visual Studio creates a restore point automatically guys, but I prefer creating my own to easily identify it. Type restore into the Windows search field and click create a restore point. You can also type restore into the control panel search field to get it that way guys. When the dialog pops up, click create. Name your restore point whatever you like is and click create. Now if we click system restore, select choose a different restore point and click next, you'll see our named restore point at the top. Clicking it will select it and from here you can click next to begin the restore. For extra precaution you can create a backup system image. Setting this up is out of the scope of this video is, but if you have it set, go for it. With our backup set, we need to download a helper application from the web. Type Visual Studio Uninstaller into Google and click on the first link. This is a repository and is similar to downloading my channel files. Clicking on the download zip button will download the master branch. This is usually the most stable version of the source code. I'll go over this when we look at version control is. I also want you to download another version on the user Toby Who Improve branch. Click the branch master drop down button, select users Toby Who Improve and click download zip. If this branch has been removed, you can download my channel files to get a copy of the build I used. The link is in the description is. Feel free to use a more updated branch when it becomes available is. Judging by the commits, this project is still very active with lots of features getting added all the time. Just be careful downloading a dev's working branch as it might have compiler errors or bugs that haven't yet been discovered. It's a very good idea to read the readme section of any repository is. Here we get instructions on how to use the version on the master branch. Now we need to build the projects is. Navigate to the download master zip folder, click on it and click extract all. Select the location to extract it and click next. Do this for the other downloaded zip file as well is. Head to the newly extracted folders and click on one of them. Click the uninstaller.sln file and it should open Visual Studio. We need to set up the project so that it builds a .exe. Click debug uninstall underscore wrapper properties and when the tab loads, click publish. Click prerequisites and unclick the box beside create setup program to install prerequisite components. Click OK and then click Options. Click Deployment and unclick the box beside Use.deploy file extension. Click OK, select where you would like to save the application and click Publish Now. Delete the access setup.force file and open the Applications Files folder is. You'll see the setup.force uninstall.exe somewhere within it. Repeat this process for the other zip file, give them meaningful names and place them in a safe location is. Don't run the application just yet is, we'll do this a little later. To ensure the uninstall process goes smoothly, it's best to repair Visual Studio beforehand. Open Control Panel and click Uninstall a Program. Navigate to the Visual Studio Community 2015 icon, click it and click Change. When the dialog pops up, click Repair. This process will take a little time, yes. Once it's done, restart your computer. Ok, let's remove the Visual Studio extensions. Most of these will be removed by the uninstaller, yes, but some can get left behind. I prefer to remove them manually. Open Visual Studio 2015 and click Tools, Extensions and Updates. Click on the Install drop down button and uninstall all the extensions you have installed one by one. ReSharper is a special case here and you'll have to remove it from the Control Panel's Uninstall window. With our extensions removed, we can finally begin the Visual Studio uninstall. According to the web, we're advised to run the uninstaller with the parameter force added in the command line. Command line may seem a little bit scary at first days, but we'll be fine. We need the location of the Visual Studio installer. If you've removed the installer, head to the Visual Studio website and download whichever version you use to install it is. For me, the installer is located in my downloads folder. Open Notepad or your text editor of choice is. I prefer writing out my commands in Notepad before executing them in command line is. This means if I make a mistake, I don't have to fiddle around with the command line interface. Here we'll type out our file path to the .exe of the Visual Studio installer. For me, it's C users retro tk2 downloads vs underscore community underscore enu dot exe. Make sure to include speech marks before and after the path is. Now we need to add the parameters to the command. Type forward slash uninstall and forward slash force. Press the Windows logo in X and click command prompt admin to run the command line as an administrator. Copy the command we typed and paste it into the command line. Press enter and the Visual Studio dialog should show. The uninstall process can take some time, yes. Once it's finished, navigate to the folder containing the master branch build of the Visual Studio uninstaller. 
Now I'll admit, I'm not exactly sure how effective this version is, is but I need to show you it in action. Right click on the setup.forceuninstall.exe and click run as administrator. Head to the uninstaller's extracted source files location. Here you'll find another folder called data files. Type dir and a space into the uninstaller command window. Copy the data files path and paste it into the command window. Press enter and then any key. Type load into the command window, press enter and then any key. Typing select into the window and pressing enter will show a list of Visual Studio versions this product supports. We can input the corresponding number for the Visual Studio versions we want to uninstall. 2 is for VS Community 2015 is. Once this is set, typing uninstall into the window should remove all associated bundles and should uninstall stale MSIs. Now I would say that was quite a complex setup and I'm not super confident it actually worked this. Let's use the other version of the uninstaller we downloaded. From now on I'll refer to it as V2 and the previous version is V1S. I must stress here is that I'm not using V1 and V2 on the same uninstall, so the fact that V2 will find MSIs doesn't mean V1 didn't remove them. Navigate to V2's location, right click on the setup.forceuninstall.exe and click run as administrator. Here we're given all the Visual Studio bundles currently installed, of which there are none, and asked if we would like to continue uninstalling stale MSIs. Type Y under the window and press enter is. Immediately we're given a ton of relevant information and get to see all the MSIs it's removing. The program will exit once it's finished this. Out of curiosity I restored the system to our restore point just to see how V2 would handle the Visual Studio bundles. Here we can see I have two Visual Studio bundles installed. Typing Y and pressing enter will start the Visual Studio uninstall process and is considerably quicker than the command line method. This is amazing is, but I couldn't solely advise using this since it isn't the released version of the uninstaller. I really wish they would update the master branch to this point. With all methods, there are still fragments of Visual Studio left behind. Here Windows Phone 8.1 emulators and TypeScript tools are still installed. You can remove these if you like yes, just proceed with caution. If we look in the program files, you'll see there are still Visual Studio folders. Again Ace, you might be able to delete these, but proceed with caution. Visual Studio 2015 is a tough program to completely eradicate Ace, but hopefully this uninstall process will suffice. And that's it. Rate, comment and subscribe Ace. Tell me how your uninstall went. You can email me at retrotk2 at gmail.com with other video suggestions. I'd like to thank Rohit Yadav for this video idea. I hope it helped. Thank you for watching Ace and I'll see you in the next video.